do you uh, how do you make sure that that one loss doesn't become two as emotional as it was? Um, you know, on Sunday we just went back to work. Um, you know, after a loss like that, you got to go back to work. Um, you got to put it behind you and get ready for the next game. Um, we've got a veteran team that knows how to respond. We've done it before this season, and you know I think we're going to go out and you know we're going to get to work this week and play a great game on Saturday. You you played against Texas Tech about nine times in your career. What uh, what do you uh, what do you remember about these games? Uh, they're physical. They're very physical. Um, you know, they got a defense that likes to take the ball away. They got a secondary that uh, you know likes to come in and take big hits, and a linebacking core that can move around, and a defensive line that can move around. So uh, they, they got a very fast defense. They're very physical, and they want to come in and take shots. So you know, we just got to come ready to play. Does it change games knowing knowing guys on the other side? I mean, m many of you played against each other in high school. You've known each other for years. Does that change games at all? Uh, you know, not not to me personally. Um, you know, I just like to go out and focus on one team a week, and um, you know, go out and execute game plan. Um, but you know, we're just focused on Texas Tech and going and getting a win in Lubbock. Um, you know, it's going to be a tough game, so we just got to get ready to go. Two regular season games left in, in your career. What what do you want to see over these next two games? What do you, as a, as a leader on this group, tell the guys? Um, you know, just execution. Um, you know, we got to respond. We got to execute, and because our goals are still ahead of us. You know, we can still. You know, go play for a Big 12 championship. But to do that, we got to go to Lubbock and get a big win against Texas Tech. Is it? Um, is there a fine line between pressing and executing, and, and knowing you got two left in your career? Um, you know, I, I feel like we've been in tough situations before. Um, me personally, in my career as well. So, you know, I feel like I've been here before. Um, and right now, I just my complete focus is on Texas Tech. Uh, you mentioned that your goals, that the team's goals are still out right now in front of you. Can you talk about that a little bit and talk about kind of what's keeping you guys motivated? Um, you know, we still have a chance to win a Big 12 championship. And, um, you know, that's all you know we can ask for right now is go to win a Big 12 championship. But to do that, we've got to beat Texas Tech. So, um, you know, we still have it on our pyramid that we can go do what we can do. So we just got to go on to love it get a big win. I know it's not the end, but uh, can you talk about what the journey has been like? from East Bernard to, to the point you're at right now? Yeah, um, you know, it's it's been a long journey, of course. Um, you know, playing in East Bernard, a small town, football town, um, winning the state championship there, and coming to TCU and playing for one of the best coaches in the country and one of the best football programs in the country. Um, you know, it's been fun. Um, we've got two regular season games left for TCU, so, you know, I'm excited. How have you seen your role change as far as like being the, the young buck, the freshman, the kind of speedster guy, to now you're kind of a veteran leader, a calming presence in the locker room? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot like high school being the leader, you know, being that young guy, moving to the leader. Um, I've had great players ahead of me like Josh Doxson, David Porter, uh, Deontay Gray, and guys like that. Um, you know, I've watched them through my young years here. So, uh, you know, I just follow their footsteps and try to be like them. Seeing what's behind you, who do you, who do you like? Who's going to have the best career ahead of them? Um, I mean, everybody, we've got a lot of weapons behind us. Um, so I think, you know, there's tons of talent ready to come up and make big plays for TCU.